You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. You're watching CNA Heroes on CNA TV. Watch, subscribe, and share. The past year and a half have been unprecedented and likely historic for CNAs working with the frail and elderly. Unless familiar with nursing homes and elder care, the general public does not have any idea of the struggles or heartache CNAs and nursing home residents have endured. Some of their stories are now being told, this being one of them. Thank you to Tap Into New Brunswick for initially publishing the details of this story. Kadisha Days is a CNA from Somerset, New Jersey. She's worked at a nonprofit assisted living community, Parker at Stonegate, for three years now. She recalls the early days when COVID-19 was infecting the country and ravaging New Jersey. About a year ago, Kadisha quietly made a deal with God. You see, CNAs were frightened and understandably so. They were torn between the commitment to the residents and keeping their own families safe. So Kadisha pledged in her prayers to continue to care for the seniors at the assisted living. She vowed to carry out her responsibilities with all the commitment, the bravery and compassion she could possibly muster in the face of this alarming, life-threatening pandemic. She also vowed in her prayers to take every precaution available with personal protective equipment, hand sanitizing, and social distancing when possible, which is difficult for a CNA. In return, she had only one request from God, to spare her children from COVID-19. Kadisha explained, if I give myself to taking care of others, then maybe he could have compassion and not allow COVID to darken my door. But there was really no choice, she said. In my profession, it's not as if I could say, well, I'm not going to work. We still had to take care of our elders to the best of our ability, and I'm grateful that Parker made sure we were as safe as possible. Throughout the pandemic, Kadisha worked her shifts at Stonegate continuously, and she even volunteered to take extra shifts at other Parker homes to ensure there were no staffing shortages. The extended safety protocols Parker established in all of its communities to minimize the spread of COVID-19 became routine for Kadisha over the weeks and months. She soon found herself focused on the mental health and the mental state of the residents. She found it very important to talk to them, reassure them, and she became a soothing source of consistent strength. When Kadisha returned home to her family after each shift, she quickly changed out of her scrubs and put them in a bag that was left at the front door. Her focus then became her seven-year-old son and her 18-year-old daughter. She hugged them often and she made sure they were both keeping themselves safe as well. Kadisha can look back on the past year and a half with pride and enormous gratitude toward God and her fellow CNAs at Parker. She is proud to have kept seniors safe and secure, and in doing her daily work with such caution, she helped save lives. Meanwhile, to her great relief, her children have remained safe from COVID-19. Kadisha said, God was listening. We had a deal. Kadisha Days 
from New Jersey. Your dedication and bravery are incredible. You and CNAs like you saved so many lives during the pandemic. Thank you for your hard work and your efforts, and we honor you today as a CNA hero.